People who abuse their lives are often ready to blame someone for the abuse that they dole out. And the hard part for those individuals is recognizing that they are fully responsible individually or professionally or personally or spiritually or intimately for those decisions. The hardest part for someone to respect and regard about others may be the things they have to do to anticipate and understand that they don't have rights to any other. Does that make sense to you? That if you actually have a no actual legitimate claim to someone, meaning you're not in business together, you are not a friend of someone, you are not a colleague of someone, you're not in a church with someone, you're not in a group with someone, you're not in any kind of business or social network with someone, you're not in any philanthropic relationship with someone, then you really don't have rights to them at all to even butt in, and my mother used to call it a buttinski, of someone who would do that. You see, your problem is getting your power back, and your power is solely and singly within you and what you can do for your life only, even if you're married, even if you have a live-in, even if you have a spouse of some kind, even if you have a life partner, you are solely responsible for you. So how you choose to get up each day, what you decide to do with your day, how you're supposed to decide to spend your time, every single minute of the day you have a power of choice. You have a power for decision. But if you're wasting your decisions by driving somewhere and then not talking to someone, that's on you. If you're wasting your opportunities because you fly by someone, you talk to them, but you look like a goofball every time, that is also on you. Because at some point, the guy's going to go, what is this cat after? I mean, we're neighborly, and I appreciate that. But at some point, we got to move beyond this how you doing conversation. And I realize that we don't have time for that. So on the one hand, it's good that you keep being neighborly, but on the other hand, it becomes kind of one of these... Are you needing something from me? Are you wanting something from me? Or are you the guys who've been stealing from me in the night and molesting me at night? And I don't feel that's right. So let's be clear. When you're trying to build a relationship with someone, it has to be natural to the one degree, and it has to be focused or purposeful to the other.